it's Michael Taylor from trackworthy.com. We're here in downtown Toronto, largest city in Canada, fourth largest city in North America. Standing in front of this beautiful 2017 Porsche 718 Boxster. And we're about to head out from Canada's largest city to the largest log cabin in North America. Looking forward to the drive, obviously in this beautiful PDK equipped 2017 Porsche 718 Boxster. I'm sure we will enjoy every minute of it. So as you can see and hear, we made it from downtown Toronto to a much more serene and peaceful Montebello, Quebec. And we're going to be spending the next couple of days at the Fairmont Chateau Montebello. 200 rooms, made out of 10,000 logs, built in 1930, originally as a private resort. And I believe for the first 40 years it remained private. It was then acquired by the Fairmont chain and added to their growing collection of beautiful destination resorts. There is a golf course across the street from the hotel as well. Beautiful setting, beautiful treed surroundings, a real treat to take this car driving around on the beautiful country roads. So our car was equipped with PDK, which is an option. Not something I would have chosen, but a very useful option that allows everybody to drive the car PDK is fun to use, definitely not as smooth as a regular automatic transmission, but much more fun. You can just put it into drive, don't push the sport button, don't push the sport suspension. This car is also equipped with the Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM, so it firms up the ride whenever you want it, or puts it into a more comfortable mode for regular driving. But the PDK works quite well, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, when you get the sport exhaust going, play with the transmission, you can get all sorts of sounds emanating from that center mounted rear exhaust. I'm not sure what it would sound like if you were doing that with a manual transmission, but uh, certainly with the PDK you can blip through the gears up and down. So our car is also equipped with the 19 inch S rims. It's got navigation and from the drive from Toronto to Montebello, the car performed flawlessly. Nav works really well, the phone integration works very well. Really a pleasure to drive. We had lots of room for uh, the two of us and uh, our luggage and our gear. There is a front trunk compartment and a rear one as well. Virtually no storage inside the car. A little glove box, but that's about it. You can put your phone in the center console, but really everything else has to fit in the front or rear compartments. Great car to drive with the top up or the top down. But when the top is down and the windows are up and the little screen is behind you, um, it's really like having a big sunroof. So very manageable in terms of noise. When you close the convertible top, it's uh, a well insulated soft top and uh, does a good job of keeping most of the road noise out. But no one buys these cars because they want a quiet ride. Most people buy these cars because they love the sound of cars and then they're enthusiast drivers and uh, this car definitely gives you an enthusiast experience. You know, do you need to work your way up to the S model and to the more powerful Boxsters? I think if you're driving around in a big city on a daily commute, this will provide you with all of the fun and engaging drive that you need. Really not a lot lacking in this car and a great entry into Really what is an exotic but absolutely daily driver. Yes, they've gone from a six cylinder to a four cylinder turbocharged, but it doesn't really matter. You turn on this car, you fire up that engine, and you're rewarded with the kind of sound and exhilarating drive that you would expect from a Porsche. 
question I ask is, has Porsche delivered what I think they wanted to deliver with this new 718 Boxster? After spending several days with it and racking up the miles, in my opinion, this is a great car. If you need more power and you want to get the S or you want to have bragging rights to say you have an S, by all means. But, you know, 300 horsepower, turbocharged, boxer, four-cylinder, PDK, which I wouldn't opt for, but certainly it allows you to get more use out of the car. Other people can drive it. Works like a charm, rock solid, sounds great. Gives you that sports car experience, and uh, I think they've really done a great job with this next generation car. Um, I think the name is good too. Guys like to have, I think, cars that have numbers, and now it's a 718. One last thing, the best stop start of any car I've ever driven, um, because it has a sense of attitude. As you slow down to a stoplight, while you are still rolling, the engine cuts off. So you can kind of glide to a stop silently, which I just think is really fun. I mean, Porsche make enthusiast cars. Enthusiasts typically drive these cars. To have something fun like that, where, you know, normally you have to come to a dead stop and then the engine shuts off, but this one stops while you are still rolling. Anyway, as always with the Porsche, insert that key left side of the steering column, fire it up, hit the sport button, it sounds great, and uh, I don't think you can go wrong with this car. Thanks for watching, and drive safely, and we will see you again soon.